you could stop with me today for a brief Bible study slash prayer. I was, as I was thinking about what to pray about this week, as we continue our journey walking with Jesus, the scripture that's been in my mind today is the one from Luke 8 about Jesus stilling the storm. It begins at chapter, at verse 22. One day, Jesus got into the boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out, and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and they were calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed and said to one another, Who is this that he commands even the winds and the water? And they obey him. Master, master, we are perishing. I've been thinking about this scripture today as we're struck by all the natural disasters that are happening in the United States right now. And that doesn't even include us looking around the world. And so that image of Jesus and the disciples yelling, Master, Master. Because Jesus was so tired from all the work he had been doing, all the healing and comfort he had been bringing to people as he moved throughout Galilee, preaching and teaching, comforting and challenging. He was so tired, he stepped into that boat and sat down and fell asleep. And a storm came up and the disciples are worried and wake him up, challenging him to wake up and do something. And I feel that call, right? That, that need for someone to come along and wake, wake up those who have authority to do something. So I invite you to close your eyes to breathe in deeply. And I want you to just picture that that image of Jesus hushing the storm, bringing calm to the turbulence. So I invite you to think about being calm And while you're thinking about calmness and letting calm center in you, I invite you to smile. To feel that peace of God settle inside you. Jesus, we are perishing. I picture that road I've driven in Yellowstone and watch as that highway slips into the water as that house falls into the roaring river. I think about all those people who are losing their livelihood as Yellowstone closes for months. Master, we are perishing. And I think about our South, the extreme temperatures that are gripping our nation, 114 in Phoenix, 110 in Dallas, and it's sweeping its way east bringing with it such heat. I think about Odessa, Texas that is without water during this heat. Master, we are perishing. And I see those images of smoke plumes 
the smoke rising in Arizona and New Mexico and Alaska. The fire is burning. Master, we are perishing. I think about Indiana as the derecho swept through Fort Wayne. Master, we are perishing. And I think about Mexico City where an unexpected hailstorm left inches and inches of hail covering the city. Master, we are perishing. Jesus, we need your presence here and now in those places where the storms have come. In those places where the storms are overwhelming us. In those places where we need your presence to change the minds of those who could do something about this. Master, we're perishing. Come among us and bring your peace. Come among us and bring your calm. Come among us and challenge us. Ask us, invite us to have enough faith to do something. Jesus, come among us and calm the storms. Amen.